Jesus said, it's that branch that abides that bears much fruit. Your productivity, your productivity is directly proportional to your abiding culture. If results start dropping, I know I've been distracted like you were teaching today. I've wandered off. So I just go back. The way God designed our human spirit is that it's like a foam. The presence of God is like water. As you spend time, you know when you take foam, touch it on top of water and take it out, it will get small sprinkling. Eh? But if you drop it and leave it for a while, that's what they call soaking. That's what the, the Bible means by tarry. He said, tarry till. What people are doing now is that they are tarrying for the spirit, baptism of the Holy Spirit. No, it's, not, it's a free gift. You don't need, the Holy Spirit is now here. But you now need to tarry for his anointing, for his refueling, for his infilling. You already have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, but you are not always full of the Spirit. When you now spend time with God, that's what results. Tarry till you are clothed with power from on high. And that is the anointing upon. That is how. And I'm glad he gave some examples. There are some signals your spirit will get when you are clothed, when you are filled up. One of them is the peace of God will saturate your mind. I don't care what kind of uh, crusade or what kind of problems that are bringing before me I don't care whether it's on individual level or whatever once that inner peace fills my heart mm. the other times you tell it to you the joy of the spirit wells in sometimes you even laugh sometimes you don't you're praying in the spirit you hit that zone the other times where you feel the tangible, the power of God on you, you actually. The other times I don't. I don't feel anything yet. There are other times I feel that divine electricity on me. The other times, nothing. Just that peace. I get the same result as when I feel it. Because that thing is the spirit of faith. That inner assurance. And once it's there, the words I speak becomes creative just like God you know God operates from a place of rest doesn't and when Jesus finished he told him sit down till I make your enemies your footstool you need to learn that city that place of city that's when you actually can put your head on your enemies I don't care how many demons are present. You rule them from that place of sitting, from that position of authority that we have with him, where we share his authority and his glory at the right hand of God. You don't come to demons on the same level. No, 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 no. You don't do that. You don't come to deal with sickness on the same level. No, no, no. This we rest to. Some people are misinterpreting it. We rest to not. So they get into this struggling and fighting and all this whatever. No, 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 no. No. If anything drags me down to that place, that's when I, uh, the result drops. I don't... Uh. Yeah, you think now you, you are, it's by two, you screaming till you lose your voice. Come on, come on, come on. No. Inspector General of Police who wants to give orders to his boy does not scream till he loses. There is a place of rest. There is a place of authority. There is a place of dominion. Dominion mandate was given so we can dominate demons, circumstances, and issues of life. Not to dominate people. We dominate circumstances, but we serve people. That's what it is for. So we can rule and reign in life. So, when I spend time with him, 
I become conscious of him. I become conscious of his presence. Then he settles me in that zone of rest. And it's from there I rule. <laughs> now, I want to show you an example from the ministry of Jesus. I think maybe, um, yeah, his own ministry, Luke chapter 6. Let me read from verse 12. Just watch how he did it. So if you want to know why Jesus had a prayer life, even though he was the son of God, already anointed with healing power, yet he, this is how he set this example for us. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer. You don't have to do all night. When I was younger in ministry, I used to do that. And then sometimes you have events, you get there, you have worn yourself out. No, it has nothing to do with night or day. I'm actually more effective when I sleep and rest. But I see prayer. I, I know there are a lot of teachings and I don't want to offend. Some of them are my friends. I don't want to offend them. The way they are pushing this prayer thing, driving people crazy. You have to do 72 days. You have to do how many nights of vigil. Why can't you sleep? He gave it to his beloved sleep. Are you a witch and a wizard? There has to be a night, to 14 days, night vigil. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If, you, if, if that's how it works for you, please keep it. But He gave it to his beloved sleep. So what I want to show you is that vigil is one, is a, the ratio is one is to ten in the life of jesus his normal culture of prayer is rising up early in the morning to pray but once in a while he does this because you need sleep as a matter of fact god talks to me after i have rested early hours of the morning the cool of the day that's where he gets to me the most so when i don't sleep i also mess up the garden experience Oh, the return of the Holy Spirit to endure the believer also returned us back to Eden, in case you don't know. That original communion, actually there is something more than that that we have now. But you know the culture of Eden. It's not a place of toiling. If you want to operate in Eden, you have to learn to walk by faith and learn to operate from a position of rest and a position of authority in him. Adam was given dominion. 